Howdy friends, my name is Wes Lee. Thanks for stopping by the House of Tone today. I started a YouTube channel showing what life was like as a band instrument repair technician. Thanks for coming along. Today is a quick hit. I'm in the middle of a bunch of sousaphones that I'm getting run through and I've come up against a brick wall. I found a new problem. Let's jump right in. What we've got is this slide is completely damaged beyond, well, the terminology is foobard, but that's what we got going on. I mean, this is a mountain range. It does not, I had to beat it out of the horn. Looks like someone else has beat on it at some point, but I mean, just these, it's pretty incredible to actually looking through the camera. This is kind of cool looking. But I digress, it's the horn, it doesn't work, so we got to make it work. So I had to come up with a solution. This is the after product. This is its matching leg. Now, I had to be very aggressive on this. But you notice that where this was engraved or stamped is still in there. It's round. This was the part that was here. Okay, this is all good. It is still scarred a little bit at the top okay and i want to show you this tubing is 759 let's find a good spot on this one this is also a 759 i did have to sand and then buff this back to where it would fit in the horn again but I removed so little material let me show you what I did okay this is a free z6014 this is the straight mandrel I got the idea because this is a, the replaceable lugs that go inside of this I don't have a piece of steel mandrel that is the size of the interior diameter of this tube so I dug around in my pile of steel. This is just a piece of carbon steel that I make tools and parts and stuff out of. And I, I whipped this up. This fits. It's pretty close. It gives me enough to work with. I cut it to size. And then I just roughly ground this down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the... this lug and I'm going to slide this one in and then I can lock it back down. The reason that I like this solution is because I don't have to have a whole long piece of steel. I can, I can use this and make parts to fit inside of this. So I really dig it. Okay, so now I'm going to chuck this in the vise. Okay, so now that I have this chucked in my vise, I'm going to use this tool this is the P2. This is a 3 8 double handled roller. This is going to allow me to have almost the perfect shape for hand rolling this. So now I'm going to go unsolder the other leg of the tube and we'll get this done. You notice here that I was holding this with an expander. You can't repair this kind of a damage with an expander. It just that's not going to work out in your favor. It's going to leave you nothing but the blues. So now let's get this fixed. So this is the end that's going to go in the horn. This is the end that goes back into the slide crook. So we're going to start here. Going to take my rawhide mallet. You don't want to use a metal hammer here because you'll just splat the brass and flare it all out and it'll make a mess and then it won't go back inside the slide tube. We've pretty much got our rough shape. Notice that this is round again. Okay, but this is still, let me come back to the camera. This is better, but you can still see the striations in it. 
and the dents that are still in it. So we know that this is not going to go back into the slide two. You can still see that it is dented, but it's much better. Now we're going to use our roller. So I'm going to work this half first. And I'm going to apply varying amounts of pressure. If this were a, a vintage King or a con, I would probably do this with the, with the dent machine. But because of where the, what this horn is, I'm afraid of crushing the tubes. And so I'm doing it all by hand. But the double handled burnisher really allows you to have control and it's a profile that matches the size of the slide tube. And then having a piece of tool, uh, uh, this is just carbon steel, it's not tool steel, piece of steel that is almost the interior diameter of the tube lets it come back. Now they, there are sets out there, they're called slugs, they're about this long, but I don't have those today. So this is gonna work for us. All right, let's check this out. Dent's gone, that light line is straight. You can, see, you can see burrs and whatnot, so we're gonna to have to take care of that. We, this is the other end that I did not do. So I'll show you again. First we hammer with a rawhide or a plastic headed hammer or a Delrin hammer, something like that, no metal. You don't want metal on the hammer and then metal here because you'll flare your slide tube and it won't go back in. These have to telescope. First we pound. Then we roll. You'll see here, there's a significant dent in the outer slide tube that I'll have to take care of. There's also several along the out other side of this slide tube, but I can check our tube in to about here. Yep, all the way up to that dent. This next step, if you don't have a lathe, it's going to make a little bit more of a problem for you. Um, but what we're going to do is chuck the, back this out a little bit, up to where the part that was soldered, it's not very tight. This operation that we're going to do is not about having it super tight. We're going to bring the tailstock up. This is a live center. And I'm just going to make contact. I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to lock this in place. So this will spin. You can see. Good rule of thumb is to always spin your chuck to make sure everything is out of the way and you're good. I'm going to hit this with some I think this is 320. And what I'm doing now is I'm knocking the burrs off of everything. I'm going to follow this with some, uh, if I remember right, this is 600 wet dry. Make sure you always keep yourself clear of the chuck. You can see every part of your body. Now I'm going to hit this with crocus cloth. Okay, now we're going to buff it. This is triple E. So there we go. That's our slide tube repair. Doesn't, doesn't even look the same, does it? Let's check our size. And 759. So you didn't remove any material. 
you repaired the slide to, it's going to work out great. Now I've got a match set. Now all that's left to do is everything. Well, all right. Thanks, everybody. I got two of these done. I've only got six more to go. <laughs> it's going to be good. They're going to come out great. No one but me. And now you will know that these were ever trashed out. I hope you like those tools I showed you. Very, very useful tools. I'll leave part numbers down in the description and the link to Freeze Tools website. If you need to pick them up for yourself, you'll know what to reference to do that. Thanks for stopping by the House of Tone today. This is Wes Lee, signing out.